Trudeau has been extremely critical of Ontario's Doug Ford's recent decision to invoke the notwithstanding clause in Bill 28, an Ontario law that was recently passed last week to override sections in the Charter of Rights and Freedoms to legislate a contract with 55,000 education workers and to make it illegal for them to strike, referring to Ford's action as wrong and inappropriate. The notwithstanding clause is a provision of Section 33 of the Charter of Rights and Freedoms, it gives provincial legislatures or parliament the ability through the passage of a law to override certain portions of the charter for a five-year term. In a statement released last week, Trudeau said the federal government was considering its legal options. According to him, the proactive use of the notwithstanding clause is actually an attack on people's fundamental rights and in this case is an attack on one of the most basic rights available, that of collective bargaining. And expectedly, Ford, who had once come out publicly to announce being a fan of Trudeau's narcissism during the invocation of the Emergencies Act, got really disappointed. You can tell that he had probably expected his authoritarian buddy to favor his action or, at best, make no statement as regards it, but the Liberals had apparently used him to score cheap political points with Canadians once again. And in reaction to that, Ford had gone ahead to give everyone in Canada a hint into the hypocritical nature of the narcissistic Trudeau in his interview on Monday. Take a look at this. And as for the Prime Minister, it's very disappointing the Prime Minister is being selective uh, within certain provinces about his concerns of overturning the notwithstanding clause. If he wants to sit down with all the Premiers and have a, converse, a conversation about the Constitution, that's something he needs to decide for himself. Of course, you can say it's a completely fair response that speaks volumes as to who the Prime Minister really is, a funny clown and a perpetual hypocrite. Trudeau and many of his liberal ministers, including some from Quebec, are occupied with denouncing and advocating against Ontario's use of the notwithstanding clause. But in reality, there are a variety of ways to expose the Liberal Party's hypocrisy, especially in light of Trudeau's hypocritical statement, which ranges from the Prime Minister's event of charter rights suspension to his acceptance of Quebec's use of the notwithstanding clause to preemptively suspend minority language and religious rights. Trudeau claimed on Friday that he had criticized other provinces, although he didn't specifically mention Quebec. Apparently, the disputed override provision of the Charter of Rights and Freedoms has been used by several provinces in recent years, not only in Ontario. Although Ford didn't specifically mention it, Quebec has twice used the notwithstanding clause in relation to legislation governing language and religious symbols while Trudeau has been in office. But Trudeau had only said he was concerned when questioned about Quebec's Bill 21, which resulted in the removal of a teacher from the classroom for wearing a headscarf. But of course, expressing worry isn't the same as outrightly condemning Ford. Similarly, the Liberals had previously said that using the Emergencies Act did not suspend charter rights and that no freedom whatsoever was restricted despite that it clearly did. In fact, that was the point. The Act's activation limited travel and the freedom to convene while compelling individuals and corporations to provide services for the government on demand. Apparently, even when all of these seemed to be breaches of the charter, yet they were approved by the statute. And throughout the years following the pandemic, like almost all governments, the Liberals have perpetually been involved in actions that violate charter rights, the majority of which were never challenged in court. And even the restriction on Canadians who are not immunized from traveling by rail or airplane, which arguably came close to being put to the test for clearly violating Section 6 that provides for guaranteed rights to movement, was swept under the carpet. Just over a month ago, as the legal challenge to the ban was set to be heard, the government lifted the restrictions, requested the judge to dismiss the case since it no longer applied, and the judge granted the request. So much for all these, it's unbelievable Trudeau would suddenly get animated and wild when it came to Ford's use of the notwithstanding clause, which is obviously also charter compliant since it is included in the charter as provided for in Section 33. Trudeau keeps claiming he wants to continue to be the government and the party that defends people's basic liberties and rights. However, his own performance on this front has been ridiculously porous at best. And of course, this doesn't justify what Ford did, but being lectured by Trudeau is just really far from it. It makes Trudeau's campaign against the Ontario Premier wrong and hypocritical, as Ford had clearly pointed out in his interview. Please drop your comment down below, viewers. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this. Also, share with as many people as possible. And keep in mind that we are always determined to boldly expose the hypocrisy of the left wing and mainstream media while keeping you updated and conscious. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.